Hi, I'm Nick Maddox and welcome to Nash TV. Today I'm going to take the opportunity while we're out on the bank to run you through the siren bite alarm but in particular the sensitivity system. It's the main thing I get asked about at shows or with a customer inquiry so I thought I'd now give you a little rundown so you all understand exactly how it works. Now with other bite alarms on the market you're measuring the distance that the line passes through your alarm. Now, on a windy night or if you've got a drifting weed bed coming through your swim or whatever it may be that's giving you false indications on your alarm you're then going to have to go out and desensitize that alarm now in effect if you imagine you were moving the line a foot to get two or three bleeps you've now gone out and desensitized it you might now have to move your line three foot four foot five foot maybe even more to get the same two or three bleeps that you were getting before now in effect you've completely lost in, if you like tune with your rig out there you, you're not in touch with it you don't know what's going on um, the fish can now be moving your lead out there probably a foot half a foot maybe even more without you getting any indication purely because you've desensitized the alarm um, with the siren bite alarms Kev wanted to do something a little bit different um, and it was this desensitizing it that he didn't like the idea of he wanted to be in tune with his rig the whole time so to combat that we've gone with a different system um, so rather than measure the distance that line passes through the alarm we're actually measuring the speed that the line passes through the alarm so in effect very similar to a speed camera you go through it too slow you're not going to get a speeding ticket or if you go through too quick obviously you are um, and I'll just demonstrate exactly sort of the effectiveness of that now you've all probably had it you start with a slack bobbin it's on the deck and by the morning you wake up and it's right up the top there it's pulled up tight um, you haven't actually had a screaming run, you've had probably a couple of bleeps every one, two hours or something, so that might be a weed, bread, uh, weed bed drifting through your swim and sort of pulling your line up ever so slightly, bit by bit by bit. I don't know about yourselves, I have to go out and check it every time, make sure the rod tip's not twitching and all that, um, which of course isn't ideal, you want to get a good night's sleep until you get an absolutely screaming take. So I'll just demonstrate now, I'll just pop the uh, siren onto the lowest sensitivity system. Now there's five levels of sensitivity, generally I'll always fish with mine on sort of level three or so um, unless of course you're getting really windy or you're getting sort of lots of false bleeps. So that's on level one which is the lowest level of sensitivity. Now you'll notice that a very slow movement rolling back and forth, not giving me an indication or a slow movement as it's just pulling up tight, you're not getting an indication either. So that's your false bleep sorted but of course when a fish moves your line just that much, so a very small amount but very quickly you're going to get an indication and of course nine times out of ten you don't get super slow carp takes a carp shakes its head um, you might get it sit on the spot but regardless it's going to shake its head and give you a quick twitch which is going to give you the indication that you need i hope that sort of clears things up for you and you now all understand exactly how the sensitivity on the siren works um, any other questions feel free to get in touch and we'll be happy to help you out. Good luck on the bank lads, take care and we'll see you soon.